All right, you saw the title, let's jump into the demo right away. This is the project that we built recently for one of our clients. Basically, you can sign in with your credentials and you will land on a dashboard. This is the basic version, okay? Later on, we built more integrations on top of this, but I decided to show you this basic infrastructure and framework dashboard because we actually templatize it and now you can get it and basically sell the same thing. So let me quickly show you what you can do here. First of all, you have agent settings. Here you can select which GPT model to use, change the temperature and provide system instructions for your agent. In my case, this is set up as a customer service agent for an imaginary company, Acme Marketing Agency. Then we've got a knowledge base tab. Here you can add some frequently asked questions, you know, just click add new, provide a question and answer and create your FAQ. You can also upload documents, just drag and drop your files here and you'll add a knowledge base for your agent. In my case, I have the Acme Marketing Agency knowledge base as a sample just for test purposes. There are some FAQs included. For example, if I asked what services do you provide, it would answer um, full service digital marketing, including social media, pay-per-click, etc. The next tab is conversations. This is really cool because you can go in and check every conversation between the AI assistant and the customer. And then we've got the users section where you can see all your team members. So as a company, you can create accounts for your employees within this tool, allowing them to step in and take over the chats from AI whenever needed. Now, along with this dashboard, we also built this chatbot widget, which you can deploy to your website for example. So let's give it a try. Let's say, what services do you provide? Here we have our conversations and as a human agent, as a customer support agent, we can view the chat live, okay? So I can open the conversation and see the message, what services do you provide? And then the answer from the chatbot. Then if I ask, tell me about your pricing, um, again, as an agent, I will see this message appear in the conversation and here it appeared. Uh, what's really cool is that, and what made the customer actually choose this solution was the human takeover feature. So as a human agent, while watching the conversation live, I can click um, take over and I'll be able to reply instead of AI in the same chat thread, okay? So for example, I might reply, uh, let's hop on a call, um, I'll tell you more. I send it off and now it says a Bogdan because now it's the human agent replying and in my web chat widget, the answer appears right away. Let's hop on a call. I'll tell you more. I can also say um, it's Bogdan, by the way. Right. And I'll see it here in the chat widget as well. Now you might say that you can do the same thing with a ready to use off the shelf SaaS tool like Chatbase, for example. So in Chatbase, you can click new agent, drop in your knowledge base file, create the agent and you'll have pretty much the same thing, right? Uh, you get settings where you can change the model, set the role, adjust the temperature. Uh, you can also check the activity logs here and even review um, chat logs and leads. So why pay for the development of a custom dashboard like this instead of just using an off-the-shelf tool like Chatbase? Well, there are many reasons, like full customization, so you can design workflows, uh, user experience, branding, and more. Your customer will own the platform, so there is no dependency on third-party policy changes or uh, feature limits. But there are three main reasons that actually make our clients go for a custom solution in real life. First, and this is number one reason, is data privacy and control. So if you use Chatbase or any other no-code AI agent builder, all your sensitive data, chat histories and customer interactions are processed, sometimes even stored on someone else's servers. For most startups and small businesses, that's fine. But if you're a company that handles sensitive information like financial records or any kind of proprietary data, you don't want your conversations or your knowledge base leaving your controlled environment. That's why we built a fully custom solution that is deployed and lives on their servers, giving them total control over every conversation, every file, every interaction nothing leaves their infrastructure. So the issue of data control is usually a decisive factor here. The second reason is that it's cheaper in the long run. Yes, the company has to invest in the development of this custom solution, but there is no SaaS margin. There is no ongoing third-party subscription fees. You just pay for API tokens and that's it. And then there is live chat and human takeover. So this feature I showed you where you can just take over the chat as a human agent, 
that's not available in tools like Chatbase. And it's actually been the main factor, the main reason our clients went with our solution. Now, you might underestimate the value of human chat takeover, but this is quite a big deal because businesses are not yet ready to fully trust AI to handle every single customer conversation. There is actually a Harvard Business Review study that found around 80% of AI projects fail to deliver on their promises. So what do companies do? They use AI as a co-pilot. The chatbot takes care of all the generic and repetitive work. It answers FAQs and basically provides the standard customer service. But when something important comes up, like closing a deal or uh, handling a really tough question, uh, or just something outside the norm, that's where a human can jump in right in real time and take over the conversation. This approach actually decreases the failure rate and makes the whole customer experience way more reliable. Now, let me show you our case study, a 10K A project we just wrapped up for a healthcare marketing firm. This company provides marketing services for other healthcare providers. That means with every single conversation, there is the potential for sensitive information to come up. So for them, data privacy and control aren't just nice to have. It's a deal breaker if they're not airtight, okay? Why didn't they just use an off-the-shelf, no-code chatbot builder? Well, since it's healthcare, compliance is everything here. So for this project, everything was deployed on their own servers. Nothing is getting sent to a third party. Nothing is outside their environment. And the second reason that was important to them was live chat and human takeover that we just discussed. Now, I'm going to show you the actual proposal presentation we used. So for this project, we built a combination of a chatbot and an inbound voice assistant. Let's break down the chatbot part. So the chatbot's live 24-7, ready to answer FAQs, book appointments, etc. So all this standard stuff. But what made this project really interesting and honestly what closed the deal here was human takeover. And that was also the reason to build that whole dashboard instead of us just managing uh, the settings in the backend and uh, giving them um, just a widget, you know. Basically, they wanted this chatbot to be more of a co-pilot than a replacement. So the team can still jump in in real time and take over any chat. We also built the widget to match their branding, so completely customized. It looks like part of their website. And of course, they can edit their knowledge base anytime. So it's always up to date. The second phase was um, the voice agent. I'm not going to break it down. You can watch my other videos on how to create AI voice agents, either using Bappy or Retail. But essentially, it was a natural sounding assistant that can actually answer questions and schedule appointments. And we also set an integration with their CRM, HubSpot in this case. So here's how we structured it. The project was broken into two phases. The first phase was essentially what I demonstrated in this video, a web chatbot with a human takeover feature, so the whole dashboard around it. The second phase was the AI voice assistant with CRM integration. We kept everything super transparent with milestones, so $5,000 upfront, $5,000 after phase one and a total project cost of $10,000. We also offer a monthly support plan, which mainly covers bug fixes, prompt updates, and infrastructure maintenance. All of that is included in a 500 monthly maintenance fee. And if they ever need anything extra, it's just billed as an hourly rate. And that's pretty much it. Now, as I said, the whole solution is now templatized. You can get it as a plug and play project along with the chatbot web widget. Then you just need to deploy it to your customer servers or your own. So I invite you to join our new exclusive school community called AA Fellowship Plus. In the classroom section, you can go to custom dashboards and you'll get the whole explanation of how it works. You'll get the documentation, the GitHub repository, and everything you need to install it. On top of that, we also have a full tutorial from our CTO, Nick. He is the one who built this solution and he'll actually guide you step by step through the entire installation process, including how to deploy it to AWS Amplify. There really shouldn't be any questions, but even if you get stuck during the installation, because it requires some technical understanding. You can always go to the community forum and just ask Nick directly about your problem and he will reply with a personalized Loom video answer. So there is no way you'll get lost because in addition to the documentation, the template and the Loom explanations, you'll also get personalized help either on the forum or during our weekly Q&A sessions. All you need to do is find a client and sell it. And for that, we've also prepared an entire agency launch schedule with a to-do list, all the templates and SOP scripts you'll need, 
everything for cold outreach, contract templates, proposal templates like the one I showed you today. You can use all of that and much more. So the link to this AI Fellowship Plus community will be in the video description. Looking forward to seeing you inside. We'll be adding more plug and play projects to the community along with video breakdowns like this one. So please let me know in the comments if you find this format useful, all right? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.